Okay, welcome back to another episode about Mistcraft. Um, today I'm going to showcase um, the newest change I made, which was adding damage to blocks. So now blocks can take more than one hit to destroy. Let's um, dive in and look at it. Okay, so here's the world right now. Um, if I look at these blocks, you can see... Oh, what's this? There's some text that shows up in the top left corner that says it's block 2 and has damage 1. And um, 2 is just like the type of block it is, and it's sand. And the damage is 1. So, like, nothing's showing up for these other blocks. And that's because they have no damage. If I click on this, see damage shows up. And now it's there. And this is actually persistent. So if I reload the game, see they both have damage. One, other blocks don't. And sand actually has a max um, damage value of 50, so once, it, once the damage value reaches 50, it'll get destroyed. So I'm going to click on it uh, 49 more times. Spam click, spam click. <laughs> I have to work hard. Okay, it went away. Same for this one. And like I can just click on all of the keep switching. Let's get this up to fifty. And then boom, it goes away. It goes away. And it's different for different blocks, so actually if I place down this wood, one, two, one, two, one, two. It only has a max health of two. And you'll notice like when I click on these um like stronger materials, apparently, um, I'm doing no damage to them. Like, they're still at zero because nothing is showing up in the top left corner. And that's actually because um, the player, like me, I only do one damage per click. And that's actually below the minimum threshold for this material of the damage it can take. For um, these stone materials, the minimum damage is three. And since I don't do that much, it doesn't even count. It's like um, the strength of the material. Like, yeah, that acts like the strength of the material and its resistance to um, and its resistance to the damage. The only thing that has a max damage of one is some plant objects. So this grass, and these are plants, or like these flowers you can go away instantly. Leaves should be two. Yep. And you'll notice that um, grass looks horrible right now. I was actually um, testing changing some textures. Um, I'll show you the file for that, actually. Okay, here. Um, this is in the items code. And I just changed the um, which texture ID is for the top of the grass block. I think originally, let's see. So originally it was 32. So I'm going to save that and actually um, recompile. Make it... Okay, I can just run it again from a terminal. Okay, yeah, you can see texture is fixed, everything is pretty. And yeah, I was just messing around with um, block items. So at the end here, you can actually see some of the functions that are used um, to determine the properties of the blocks. So right here we have the isDestructible function that tells if a block is destructible, and all of them are, like by default, a block is destructible, except for the empty block and the cloud block. Uh, zero is false, one is true. And then we have the isTransparent function which basically says that only leaves, glass, and the empty block are transparent, as well as um, any plant. So everything else is not transparent. And then basically the same thing is true for this is obstacle property. And everything except for a plant, the empty block, and the cloud block is an obstacle. And then here we have what determines if something is a plant. It just is hard-coded values for each of the plants item IDs. So what's new that I added is um, the minimum damage threshold for a block and then get max damage. And the minimum damage threshold is like that minimum amount of damage something has to do to a block in order to even affect it at all. 
So it's kind of like the strength of the block. And you'll see that like for these stone types, um, stone, brick, cement, etc., um, the minimum damage is three, but for everything else it's one. So that basically means that like since the player damage right now is one, those blocks that have the minimum threshold of three are actually indestructible. Um, effectively indestructible that way. And then next we have the maximum damage for a block, and that's like basically the health of the block, or how much damage a block can take before it's destroyed. And you'll see um, for the stone types it's 100, for grass it's 60, for dirt and sand it's 50, and then by default for plants it's 1 and for non-plants it's 2. So that determines how many times you have to click, basically. But of course I plan to make it so that different tools do different amounts of damage and a player might have some kind of item that lets them do even more damage, like a multiplier or something. And that would allow like quicker breaking of blocks and attack values. So yeah, that's the changes I've been making recently. Um, damage is saved in um, the world database file. Um, by default it's just craft.db. So yeah, damage has been added, and there isn't a way to change the damage, but that's how it is now. Okay, let's move on to a kind of fun example. Let's make the player do more damage, um, just with some simple code modifications. Ah oh, yeah, see, the player has the property attack damage. And, okay, let's find where this is actually set in here. It's, maybe it's in main. Okay, yeah, so when the game starts up, it sets, um, when it's loaded up, it sets the player's attack damage to 1. So let's just increase this. Let's make it 3. So that should be able to break the stone now. Of course, I'll have to recompile. And then, okay, I'm here again. Okay, I have to get to 100, remember, because stone has more health. Okay, that actually broke it. See? Okay, yep. Yep, I can break these now. Okay, I should be able to break, like, sand instantly. Or, oh wait, no, because it has 50 health. Yeah, I can definitely break it faster, though. Like, three times as fast as before. Okay, and since glass has health, like the default health of two, I can just break it in one hit. Same with, oh wait, actually not the same with these blocks. Um, same with leaves, though. Which is pretty satisfying. And you'll see, um, I can't actually break clouds, because those are indestructible, remember? I can actually pass through them. That's neat. I should be able to break wood instantly, too. Here, let's go up here. Yep. Okay, cool. That was a quick little change. So yeah, we made that change, and it worked. Thank you for watching this update video on Miscraft. Um, a new video will come out soon. Um, doing more work on the damage.